The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. What's happening? Thursday think tank and guests. I know it's Wednesday tonight. Um, I had some, you guys know about the impending doom. I was supposed to go in and have some surgery tomorrow. That's actually been delayed now till next week. Um, we've been so busy over here. Ed, I forgot to tell you that my surgery has been delayed till next week, um, just so you know. So that's why. What's that? More anxiety for you. Yeah, right. Another, another week's worth of stress. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so that's why we were decided to do this on Wednesday tonight. Uh, we did invite non-Thursday think tank members to this call because it's about the magic box. Um, we do have, I guess, a handful of other announcements. As you guys, some of you noticed, uh, on the uh, over the course of the day, the membership site was up and down, and uh, you, some of you couldn't log in. You should have just all gotten an email, uh, Thursday Think Tank members. I'm talking to you here uh, with your new uh, username and password. Uh, we changed up the membership and delivery stuff uh, for the website today, so it's it's getting revamped, so it's a little easier to put the right stuff in the right places and uh, provide you guys an awful lot of additional convenience. So um, that, uh, that look for that email. If you have any problems, hit support up and we'll get you fixed up. Um, but there's nothing wrong with the website. There were some comments in the Facebook group today that, oh my goodness, what happened to the fellows and all that kind of stuff. There was no emergency. There was no problem. Um, just a little unexpected drama with the membership level. So. I'm assuming all you guys can hear me. You guys can hear me, right? Did I ask that already? I can't remember. Who cares? Doesn't matter. I can hear me. That's all that matters, right? Um, we've got something really, really cool tonight that we're going to share with you guys that our buddy up there in the north, um, in the great white north, has been uh, experimenting with and conceived and we helped him out with some software and this has been going on for oh a couple of months now I suppose and he's got some very very interesting results we're gonna share with you guys tonight so whether you're in the Thursday think tank or not um, there's gonna be a, an, an unbelievable business model sh uh, shared with you here tonight and then if uh, you're in the Thursday think tank We've got some other news at the end of the call we're going to talk about as well and show you guys this killer piece of software that we call the Magic Box software. So um, a lot of you know that uh, we, we've really been struggling with what to do with this, whether we were going to try and provide hardware and all that. Um, and I think you're going to be real, real happy with the way it shakes out. Uh, as you guys know, most of you know, if you're in the think tank, uh, over in the Facebook group, there was a post by one of our members about a similar but lesser product that actually sells for a $15,000 franchise fee plus hardware. And uh, our software is, is substantially better than that piece of software, and our hardware solution is a lot easier to swallow as well. Um, so this is going to be very, very cool and very, very exciting. We'll get going here in about another three, four, five minutes, something like that. Um, we actually have, uh, this is a record uh, webinar registration for us. There is a ton of people on the call tonight, which is really cool. Um, I'm expecting to see in the neighborhood of 500 people here tonight, um, so that's awesome. I appreciate you all being here, and I can promise you it's going to be worth your time. People are still showing up. Uh, pretty fast and furious, as they say in the Hollywood there. Um, is there any quick questions I can answer for anybody? Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody want to tell me about the weather where they're at? Don't tell me about the weather if it's like 70 and sunny. I got no interest in hearing about it, none whatsoever. Okay. As a matter of fact, nobody on the call here probably wants to hear about that right now. Just to be, uh, yeah, if you've got like, you know, nasty, sloppy, wet snow that's barely navigable. That's what I want to hear about because our weather's just a little bit better than that. So um, that's what I'd be willing to listen to tonight. Uh, Mr. Poole, how you doing? I see you. Uh, you're going to be glad you stayed up for this one for sure, brother. Um, let's see. 
What's up with the ARP license registration in the TTT members area? Um, it, it, it may or may not be a leftover from the changeover. Like I said, the, the members area is going to be evolving pretty dramatically over the next two or three days. Uh, so don't, you know, don't freak out about it. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what form or registration you're speaking about, and Eric's the guy to answer that question, so hit him up on support. And he'll, he'll let you know what the answer is, or it may actually be gone by the time you go to look at it again. So uh, let's see. We had clouds again today. Oh, you poor people. What, you poor people? Uh, T-shirts, great question. T-shirts are on order from the screen printer. I expected to have them about a week and a half ago. I don't have them yet. Don't worry. Uh, all you guys that got in early on and have a t-shirt on order, there's, they are on order. Um, didn't forget about it. Didn't drop the ball on it. Um, the printing company did a little bit. Um, so yeah. Uh, Dan says, just started using SM Schema. Very cool. Excellent. Uh, Scott says, was the tax webinar recorded? Yes, it's in the members area along with a ton of supporting information. Um, I actually put my entire business prep e-class in there for you guys uh, that I did last year for like $200. So that covers all kinds of great stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, I should have a handful of extra tees. Uh, when they come in, I will email everybody. Let's see. And most people are saying they just got the info for the new password. What do you guys want to do? You want to take a look at the magic box? I know that's what you're all here for. We could show you a little bit about what we call the magic box, I suppose. Um, let me introduce to you a man who needs no introduction, Mr. Ken Anderson. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. I know you've been busy up there north of the border playing well, with our new magic box system and just uh you know that we've we've had winter here for um I know it. well over a month you know we've got two feet of snow and and uh i i think that all you can do is is pretty much focus on your marketing there's nothing else you can do right right some days you can't even leave the house no not at all I, people people in florida don't understand it but some days mother nature just wins when you're up here in the canada I consider myself uh, a, 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 what you call it, a, uh, an honorary Canadian. You well, know, don't you live close to Little Canada? I do. I live like five miles north, uh, north of Little Canada. That oh, puts me in, north of Canada. Yeah, it puts me practically in the Arctic Circle. Perfect. Oh, well, um, you've got some things to show people and tell them what the magic box is. And I'm just going to let you do your thing, and then I will jump on the call at the end and kind of give them the dealio on the software. And I've got uh, a software interface pulled up. I can run through that just a little bit with them later. But show them what this thing is capable of, Ken. And let me pass you the screen here. And for the most part, I'm going to be relatively quiet. <laughs> Okay, so how much time should I spend? Um, half hour, um, or just go until you you tell me to shut up? I think just let's just uh, let's wing it. Let's make sure we give them just tons of awesome information, and uh, okay. we'll see how it shakes out. Okay, let me see if I can find uh, some of my. Okay. Um, here is the basic magic box. I'll just give you a, a real quick run through here and then I'll, I'll show you uh, um, why I started using the magic box. Um, all it is is a, a simple acrylic box. We've got a supplier here in Canada that's, that's producing the, the boxes for us. Um, I've made a couple videos to show people how you can zip down to Staples and or or Office Max or whatever you call them in the states. Uh, I just go to Staples and I pick up the the small box. It takes uh, about 20 minutes to complete a box. You really only need to have one because I use it as a demo. And every time I 
I get an order, I'm taking their money and using that to, to cover the cost of, of putting a tablet inside one of these acrylic boxes. Um, this one here is hinged on the front, and, and like I said, we do have somebody in Canada that's, that's shipping these to the U.S. for, for uh, some of our individuals. Uh, I, we did some testing with, I think, about 10 people. And uh, anyway, it's 42 bucks if, if, you, if you order them. Uh, they're a nice box, uh, sloped, uh, the sloped front here, and uh, of course they've got the hinged front, and you can either put a fixed lock on there or a combination lock. There's, there's two applications, and then your advertising goes, uh, if you can see my cursor here, the, the advertising piece goes in the top, and we have a template maker uh, so that it, it builds a, a quick template that looks pretty good. I'll see if I can actually, I'll have to scroll through some of these. Uh, here you actually see the, the, the tablet in action. Uh, the piece of software um, that Dave and uh, Ed have developed is, is what I'm using. And of course it allows us to have a graphic on the left hand side which um, has the, the uh, details, tells them that they're, they're opting in by entering the contest, they're opting into our SMS list. They can expect uh, uh, four messages per month. They can opt out at any time. You can put your disclaimer in there. And then, of course, this is where our ad piece goes. Uh, and it's our template maker that's building these. It takes me about two minutes to, to uh, build a, uh, an ad piece for a customer. Um, now, now, I'll quickly go through and, and, and just, now that you've seen a couple pictures of the magic box, I'll just go through and see if I can grab some images here. Um, now let's just. Uh, that's the. This is actually one of the templates that was made. I'll just go through. There's only eight pictures here, so I'll definitely find what I'm looking for. And it's probably one of these. Okay. Here is my start with SMS. When I started with SMS originally, I was dealing with some restaurants. And we were getting limited opt-ins. We were using tabletop uh, displays. And we were getting um, maybe 10 opt-ins per day. And they were, they were fairly busy restaurants, but you know, on a real busy day, on a real good day, we could have as high as 20 opt-ins. And what I did was I, I started to work with some, some different uh, um, options. Instead of just the display ads, I decided that I would take it to the street. And I actually built this sign which was uh, three feet tall by six feet long, or four feet tall, sorry, by six feet long. And it's a double-sided sign and we started to give away iPads and we started to develop lists and what I found was that if I got into the right location I would go, uh, we've got Tim Hortons which is a drive through coffee place, no different than Starbucks. Um, I would park right where all the traffic had to turn the corner and they were basically held hostage in the line and I could see the people opting in on their phones because I was parked obviously right where they, they, they had to go past me, like I was uh, just a few feet from that line up and the big sign was staring them right in the face. Um, I went to the movie theaters and when they had a, a movie that was coming that was popular, you could talk to the theater and I could actually park right up on their, their main entrance way, uh, pay them so much and I could actually uh, be running my ads. I was getting much better opt-ins. I then decided uh, one day uh, to, to go to the mall and I went to the mall and they had, uh, they had this contest, text to win. And right beside the text to win, they, they actually had two options. You could text to win or you could fill out a piece of paper and put it in the draw box. And I looked at that and I, I went up to the, the lady that was sitting at the table and I said, could you tell me which, which one you're getting more of? And she said, we've hardly had anyone text in. 
but in the big acrylic box, <laughs> which was just name and phone number. They had, they had over 10,000 um, uh, entry forms dropped in. A piece of paper and a pen. I, I started to think about the, the texting and the piece of paper and a pen, and what I decided to do was go to some of the health and fitness clubs I was working with and said, hey, look, we've got this little box here, and it's got the slot on the top, and here's some, some paper and, 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 and some pens, and let's do the contest, let's give away a tablet, and let's get everyone just to put their name and number on there and drop them in, and I can just do manual entries. Well, we went up to, uh, um, whether it was a restaurant or the health and fitness clubs, we went from getting 10 opt-ins a day to getting 250 to 300 from one single business. Well, it created a nightmare in itself. Obviously, the, the, the business was extremely happy because we were now getting 30 times the, the opt-ins, 300 in a good day. What a nightmare to take all of those numbers and put them into our SMS system. Once they were entered, the business was happy because they were growing at, at huge rates. And we would take this, you, you could go to uh, trade shows, you could put their little display box. Um, for the health and fitness clubs, we actually had them in, uh, in some restaurants. And people would drop their names in. We were, we were collecting and growing at huge numbers, but we had created a monster. So what we decided to do, or, or the idea that I came up with, was to set up the magic box. Now, everybody's seen the, the acrylic drop boxes. Actually, they became popular in the, the 60s and 70s, and they were called uh, uh, fishbowl lotteries. Uh, maybe that's a new term that they use for an, uh, an old item, but pretty much everyone has seen the, the fishbowl item or the glass or the bucket that was sitting at the front, and people put their name on and dropped them in. It was very popular. They're not around very much anymore. But what I decided was uh, I had seen all of these things happening, and I realized that if we could actually get them to be using the fishbowl lottery, and, and, and where I changed things up here was it, was it became an instant win. And I don't know if how many will remember, and hopefully most of you do remember, um, uh, um, Coke and Pepsi. They used to have underneath their lid uh, you would actually take the liner out of the, the cap, and it would tell you if you won or not. And I remember there was no way in the world that you were throwing the, the, uh, the cap away without checking to see if you won. And the funny thing was, did you really want to win? You were already drinking a Coke. Actually, Coke said that the redemption rate on those turned out to be much lower than they anticipated. But people would not throw the cap away without checking to see if they had won. It was the instant win mentality. And I remember when I couldn't get that liner out, I would use a key, or as a kid I would use a stick, but I was going to get it out. And I remember picking uh, caps up off the ground and opening those with a stick, determined to, to get the cap out, or the liner out of the cap, just to see if I had won. <laughs> so what, what I thought of here was we put everything together. We've got the fishbowl, we've got the instant win, we've, we've got, uh, in, instead of people dropping in a piece of paper, we would, we would have it put into our system instantly. And we would have the instant win, we'd have everything put together. It was a business model in itself, it was a physical product. One thing that happens is when you start to sell concepts to business owners, it's very difficult because the things that you know it can do it's, it's hard to, in, in a quick meeting, explain and prove to somebody how this is going to work, especially when they've got no interest in the Internet. And you're telling them, well, I, I, you know, I can do this and I've got this feature. Very difficult sell. But when I started to come in with a physical product that they could see, and I would literally put it in front of them and say, hey, give it a try. And I remember the very first one was, was one of the hockey teams that I was dealing with. And, and ice hockey, and they entered their, their, their uh, phone number on there, and they hit enter. And I remember that the person was actually shocked to see their, their phone buzz, 
because it was sending a message directly to their phone. I, I, of course, through the settings, you can set it up any way you want. But anyway, this was sending a notification right to their phone. They were totally impressed. And then when I showed them how I could log in on my mobile phone and now send them a direct message, they were sold on it. Now, what we found here is even better than, than the, the physical piece of paper where they would write their name and number on it. Now they could actually just enter their phone number directly into the system. And you can also have it set up so it will collect the name and number or name and email or just their phone number. And I prefer to collect just their number. I want people to be able to opt in as, as quickly and easily as possible. We had now put everything together. Our opt-ins, and, and I'll tell you, we did, uh, anyway, there's, there's something about seeing the physical product in the box. And I, I'm just going to quickly show you one of the, the shots here. This, this is um, a, a basic look at, at what the software looks like as it's inside the tablet. And this, we can either set to three or four digits, depending on, I buy my locks here at uh, Walmart, and they had a hard time with four digits, although you can order four-digit uh, combination locks. They had three digits readily available. So uh, with this, you can change it to three digits or four. It's all in the settings. Um, what this one will do is, and when somebody enters their phone number, it will instantly stop the, the, the spinning wheels here and give them their three or four digits, whatever you have it set at. They can actually try then to open the combination lock with the number that's been generated. And of course, we get to set the winning rate. So um, if, if we've got a prize in there um, that, that's more expensive, we say, based on the, the, the value of this prize, we need to have 500 opt-ins. So we can actually set it so it's every 500th text message is going to win the prize. Some of our prizes, we set the winning rate, uh, for example, at the movie theaters, we set it so that every 10th person would win. And as people were waiting in the lineup, the box would be sitting there. And every 10th person that would go up would win one movie ticket. Well, they were pretty, pretty excited, and so was the entire lineup to see that every 10th person there was a, a win happening all the time. You, you can set the frequency, and we can guarantee that we're building a, a list of X amount before we give away the prize. It's not random, one in a hundred, and you can clearly put that in, in your description here. You can say odds of winning are one in 500, or every 500th text message wins, or sorry, every 500th uh, entry wins. So let me show you one now that has a, a fixed. Um, th this is for the combination lock. Let's take a look at a tablet running right now with a fixed lock. When they enter, it pops up a message that says, check out, or sorry you didn't win, thanks for trying. Or in fact, it may say something like, uh, let, let's say that they're, they're a winner and we want to protect ourselves. We're online with this, maybe, or maybe this is a, uh, anywhere it might be set up, at a restaurant, at a sporting event. What if they're entering dummy phone numbers? Well, we don't put the winning message on here. We just say when the winning message pops up, you can leave it blank, or you can say, we've sent a special message to your cell phone. Please check or you can leave it blank. The bottom line is the winner can be notified directly onto their phone. So if in fact they gave us a dummy number, they will never get the message that they want. So this is the example of a fixed lock. Now what would happen at the movie theater or at the, the, the um, um, if it was at the movie theater or a place where you've got a more expensive prize in the box and you don't want somebody just to randomly spin the lock having some fun, they just try it, hey, we'll spin the lock, hey, it opened, they take the prize out. We don't want that. So on the expensive items, I always go with a fixed lock. And of course, we have an attendant that's always close by, the person ripping the tickets or 
or a, a security that's what we had up at the mall um, what they have is a message that goes to their phone that says hey you've won here's a winning code please show your phone to the attendant to get the key and in fact when we did uh, EV games and I'm sure that everyone in the world <laughs> is familiar with EV games or GameStop they are the biggest game distributor uh, retail outlet store in, in our chain in, in, in the world. We uh, recently were involved with a, a launch uh, locally, although it was a global launch, we were involved locally um, with the uh, EV Games, and I'll grab a, a couple pictures here. Real quick. Ken, I'm going to butt in. I'm crashing the party, as we say down yeah. here in, in the lower 48. Um, all you guys, you guys, there's a bunch of questions in the question box, okay, that are going to get missed. Um, there are so many, literally thousands of, oh my God, this is crazy goods. Tell me how to get this now that I'm going to ask you, I, I never do this, but I'm going to ask you to save your questions for a little later because otherwise they're just not going to get read. So I promise you we'll answer any and all questions that you have, but let's hold them for just a little bit, and I promise we'll get back to them. There's just too much buzz in the question box right now. And, and Dave, uh, I can stay as late as you can stay. I know that you've, you've got the, the, your stomach issue, your... your um, I know, I got whatever. issues. You got issues, but I can stay as long as you can stay. I, right. can, I can outlast you. We will make sure that all... Of, well, it's two hours earlier there. In, I mean, in my defense, you know... That's why I can stay here till midnight. But anyway, yeah, everybody in the question box says we don't need Dave anyway. Dave can take a nap. We'll wait. We'll we'll call <laughs> your we'll call your cell when it's time to end the webinar. Um, yeah, no, we'll make sure all the questions get answered. Go for it. Okay. Okay. So here we were in in the mall. The the launch date was set. If anyone uh, knows about Black Ops Two, uh, you know it had a huge promotion. Um, everybody knew about it. People came in from all over to, to pick up their games. They were available at midnight. Well, EB Games said, let's give it a try. Well, everybody was pretty shocked when they were expecting in between five and 600 people to show up to get their game. Uh, the, the, the senior manager was very shocked to see that the lineup for our magic box was substantially longer than the lineup for the game, and that's the reason that they they had, that they came to the mall. Uh, the entire mall was closed. Security had it sectioned off, so you couldn't get uh, anywhere other than the store itself. So we had lined up right outside their their door, and I'm not sure. I I tend to think that the people at the back of the line just saw the huge lineup and thought this must be the lineup for the game. Um, but originally, the, the entire line started to shift from the lineup to the store to say, hey, let's try and win this game. Let's get in that lineup. We had, at one point, over 300 people in our lineup. Uh, the picture that you see here is not even um, a quarter of the people that we had lined up. They literally lined up from here all the way to the entrance of the mall. Um, and here we can see right in the center is my youngest son in the lineup for his game. We actually were accomplishing that. We were multitasking. Uh, let's see if we can find some other pictures here. Um, here you, you see the, the um, magic box set up. You can barely see a copy of Black Ops 2 inside the box. You can see the door here. I'm going to see if I can get us a, another picture. Uh, there you can see somebody who is, is uh, entering their name trying to win the prize and I wonder if I can actually I, I'm just going to quickly see if I can find one to show um, show us uh, okay this one right here here you can see uh, we are in fact right outside of EB games and uh, you can barely see but anyway this is the the buzz is happening around the magic box now um, 
what what I found is that uh, yes, there's a cost to the the physical aspect of this. There there's ways around the cost. Number one, I can have one box that's a demo, like I said, and collect deposits. And out of that deposit money, I can actually uh, buy my next box. So I need very little to get started. Uh, Twenty bucks for the box at Office Max, and uh, I think my total cost was fifteen dollars to buy the lock and and you know uh, the the little caps to to snap uh, uh, to, to put the box together, very cheap. And then to to uh, grab a tablet, the the BlackBerry Playbook was one hundred and thirty nine bucks, brand new, uh, very good device. And Androids, uh, I was picking them up at Walmart for ninety nine bucks, and in the U S. Uh, you can pick them up for I think it's sixty nine bucks. <laughs> I thought that was very cheap. Now, one of the things that I focus on is restaurants. Now, one of the problems was uh, um, having the box inside the restaurant just didn't make a lot of sense. We didn't know where to set the box up. I had set the box up so that it would sit on wheels. Um, it could be moved around, so it could sit in the restaurant, but didn't make a lot of sense. What we're really targeting uh, for the restaurants was to take this thing mobile and and to go to uh, sporting events, to get this thing out with uh, uh, one of the girls and having it pushed around, and and, and having people opt in. Uh, we figured it out at a hockey game. There's 60 minutes of hockey and there's 40 minutes of intermission. People literally just wander around, uh, going to the concession. Uh, lineups and standing there, we found that a lot of the people in the lineups would be a husband and wife, a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Uh, so one of them would stay in line and the other one would come over and opt in. Opt in rates were huge. Now, when there was no sporting events happening, we still had to make use of the magic box. And it didn't make sense to have it on the big stand. And of course, you can take the stand off, so it's just a box. We can set it on, on their counter. The way that I, I set this up was so that it's very easy to either slide them out or, or loosen only two of the bolts, which were only hand tightened, just to quickly loosen them and slide the tablet out, pass it to the hostess, and have her walk around when people were, were sitting at their table. If they were waiting for their food or they had just finished their food, we would come by and because it was a virtual prize, which was win your dinner, Every 20th entry is going to win your dinner. Now, because it was a virtual prize, there was nothing we could really put in the box, so she didn't need to push the stand and, and the box around. We could just slide the tablet out, and she could go from table to table, and she could either do the entries for them, or she could just pass the tablet around and let the people have some fun and do the entry, and you know, the, the person would say, hey, I didn't win. It says I'm a big fat loser. And so the rest of the table would laugh, and it was sort of comical to watch it being passed around, and everyone makes fun of everyone until somebody wins. Now, I actually have some of the customers that weren't interested in the tablet or the box. They wanted to see this thing work, um, and but they didn't want to put out any cash. So what I had said was, hey, do you have a smartphone? Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got a, a phone. Why don't you run it off of your smartphone? In fact, the software displays quite well in the phone, and I'm just going to go in and make a, a change here. And then I'm going to show you how we've changed things up. Let's go and take a look. I'm going to refresh this screen here right now. You see the logo that's on the left? We really don't need that when it's on a smartphone. All we really need is, is to have this as, as visible as possible. Um, and we wouldn't go with the spinner, of course, with this one. We'd go with something that was fixed. But I will just refresh this right now. And now we've got a much better display for on the smartphone. Um, very simple to make the change. Uh, um, Dave and Ed have done a fantastic job with the, the software. I am totally impressed with the way they've set it up. Very easy to to operate. It's mostly Ed. Mostly Ed, but I'll tell you yeah. this about Dave. 
Dave oh, is this, this one of the, the this should be good. <laughs> Dave is one of the best time managers that I've seen. He's extremely organized. If I can say something great about Dave, it's that he's one of the most organized individuals that I've uh, had the pleasure of meeting. Uh, anyway, let's go back here. Interesting. And let's change things. Let's put things back in here. And let's just save it. Very simple. And you will see here instantly when I refresh that we're back to. So I could switch back and forth very easy. The same campaign, one quick change, and it was ready for a, um, a smartphone. Um, when it was out on the road uh, using my box and the tablet, I could switch back. Uh, very simple. We're able to capture massive number of, of opt-ins. Um, now let's take this a step further. Let's let's take a look at at. Uh, uh, hopefully, everyone on this call is an offline marketer, but most offline marketers still want to do things online, whether it's for themselves or for their customer. Well, <laughs> how do we use this online? Well, let's take a look at what we're doing online. Uh, this is a quick uh, shot. This this one is actually live. This is a contest that we're using on eBay. One of our traffic sources is eBay. Um, there's a number of traffic sources that we use. We try and stick to places that are real. We try to uh, avoid the, the, the myth of, uh, of traffic. Uh, people come up with great ideas and, and, or they think are great ideas and you see WSOs and you, you try it and it, it doesn't work. We've tried to stick with, with traffic strategies that actually produce results. How much is it to put an item on eBay? Well, it's not going to cost you anything. Um, and you, you could put a, a spoon. I, I bought a, a set of silverware, 59 pieces for 30 bucks, and my plan is to sell them individually and, and build a list. Why would I build a list? Well, I'm building a list for a, a certain reason. These are the people that are normally collectors because I, I bought stuff that is antique. Um, we've got all kinds of things that we're doing with eBay. We're not going to get into that. What's a, what's, a, what's a list of global spoon buyers worth in Canada these days? Uh, global spoon buyers, <laughs> believe it or not, are, are not the most profitable people to have on your list. Just saying. So, Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I don't want to give out all the goods here. I just want to I'm give you a rough overview. I'm with you. Okay. Let's get into something that's a little bit more appealing. Let's take a look at some of the sites that we might be running other than eBay. Here is an actual live site. I normally don't show live sites. Uh, I've got some graphics being redone on here. I would appreciate it if you would not go to this URL. I would greatly appreciate it if you did not go there and put your name and number in here. You're not going to win the, the card right now for this call. I've got this way out of proportion, so nobody's going to win. And I'll tell you that if you're living in the US or Australia, Petro Canada is not going to help you out at all. Please do not go to opt-in. I'm, I'm going to show you um, what I've got here. Let, let me refresh this page, and let me give you a very quick run-through to show you what I'm doing. We're going to watch right here on the right-hand side, and we are going to see this page reload, and very quickly we're going to see my pop-up. You've probably been a you've probably been attacked by the go-to webinar gremlins here. It could be. All of a sudden, it seems very very slow. I, I, I hear them all knocking. I've got, oh, here there we go. Is. This pops up. This is a Facebook, a Mimics Facebook. It was released as a WSO. You can take a look. Uh, hi, it's Laura. I've got, got a quick video to show you uh, what we do. Check it out. Boom. Your video is going to pop up. All of a sudden, uh, the, the person can click on this. The video is going to play. Okay, let's close that off. That's, that's one of the ways that we would have uh, collect. Uh, opt-ins. Let's take a look at another way. And, and by the way, this, this is a, a, a bad credit car approval site. We've got another opt-in method here. It's click to chat. People can actually click on that 
and we can chat with our customers, or my customer can talk with our customers. Let's go down and let's focus on the right-hand side of the page here. Call us now. Toll free, powered by Twilio. That's another way we're collecting leads. Let's take a look. You can even text us. If you've got a question uh, about, am I going to get approved, send us a text. Um, people can click the call, and that's going to go right from their computer right through to um, one of our agents. What can we do? We can go through AWeber. We can put simple opt-in forms. Now, I've covered everything except this uh, uh, opt-in that you're seeing here. Let's, let's take a look at, at what we really have. The, the click to chat, the Facebook pop-up, um, call us toll-free, send us a text, call from your computer, fill out our form. Here's a problem. These are going to collect very few leads. Very few leads. And, and um, if, if you're into marketing, you'll know that if you've got an opt-in form, they don't collect a lot. You may have sites that are collecting zero. Now, let's take a look at this site right here, or at this opt-in option. And here it is right here, um, contest rules at the bottom of the page. The opt-ins that I get from here, because it's an instant win, they will find out, it says here, in about a second. All this is, is a, a strip down, just change a, a piece of the code, basically, just to give it a different look. You don't have to do that at all. It, the, the software is designed to fit anywhere you put it. It's going to fit. Just the way you see it, a simple iframe code that we have, and you can put it in, it's going to look exactly the way it did on the tablet. It's going to show up exactly the same way here. It looks really decent. This is just a little modified version, changed the line of code because I wanted a different look. But you can just throw in your, your uh, iframe and you're up and running on any website, Facebook, anywhere you want to be. And I'll tell you that the, the, the difference in opt-ins from this thing compared to all of the others, and you'll know from experience that your opt-in rates are extremely low in getting people to put in their email address. And if they do, it's a terrible email address. It's one that they're never going to look at ever again. That's junk email. With this, we're guaranteed that we're getting good, solid numbers. My opt-in rate on this is at least, at least 50 times better, at least 50 times better than all of these others put together because it's instant and because it's simple. Now, if I don't want their first name uh, on here, if I just want to collect the cell phone number, that's very simple. Let's go back and let's take a look at our options here. Let's, let's change this up. Let's say that we want to get their name and number. Um, it's as simple as, and you don't have to do this, because it's already in the software. I'm just showing you outside of the software. Okay, um, maybe I have to go into this one. Okay, if I take out this portion of code and I hit um, enter, I am easily able to collect a first name and phone number just like I am on this site. Very easy to collect both, and very simple to go back and collect just one. We can collect emails off of this, SMS, first names. On this one, it's important that it, when we have a cell phone number on here, that when my sales agent calls back, he wants to ask for the right person. Hey, is Bob there? Uh, if he doesn't know the name, he's not going to be able to call back to follow up the lead because, in fact, what's going to happen is he might say, hey, did somebody call this number? Somebody was looking for a car, and the lady says, oh, it wasn't me, and you've lost your lead. So that's why this one has first and last names. Traditionally, I am just going after the phone number. That's all I need on my list. Let me go back and fix this one up here. There it is. I was not hitting the enter button. 
anyway, it's it's as as, as simple as uh, inside the software selecting uh, one or the other. On here, I'm just manually doing it, but it's it's really that that simple. Nothing complicated about the software. When we do take a look inside the software, and, and maybe Dave Red wants to go through it, but it, it's really really simple stuff. You know, if you've won, and the template's already here, you've won. You you can change this up, but you know this is the the winning message. You've lost. Uh, if you've got the wheel spinning, and, and look, it's it's pretty simple. Um, set the winning cycle so it would be every every fifth tech star entry is going to win. Here's the the winning code. If you're using a three digit code or you're using a four digit code, it's adjusted right here. Display the tumblers, yes or no. If I select no and save this, and I go back here, these tumblers are going to stop. <laughs> it's one of the, the, the easiest pieces of software to operate that you're ever going to, uh, um, uh, you're, you're ever going to see. It, it's really simple. Here's your tabs. The messages are, are simple. The main title, win this $50 bill, gives you the idea. Very simple. There's nothing complicated in here literally takes just a couple minutes to, to set things up. And a lot of these are, are already in here by, uh, these fields are in here by default, so you, you can automatically tell what kind of a message it's, it's generating. So whether we're using this online or we're using it offline as a physical product, the business owners get a physical product. Online, our opt-in rates are, are um, through the roof. Uh, one of the things that that uh, uh, that I specialize in is, of course, getting the right traffic to these pages. Um, it make, does make a big difference, but that that's a, another subject in itself. So what we have here is a physical product that is bridging the gap. It's it's nothing more than a 1960s fishbowl with a 2012 uh, Ed and uh, Dave. Um, software running on, on a tablet. It's the perfect bridge. I don't care if the business owner is in his 70s. I, I showed this to one guy who was in his 70s who does not want anything to do with the internet. But the box, he could understand. Try and sell him on the concept of SMS without the box, you're dealing with an impossibility. Show him the box, man, that guy had no problem entering his number and hitting the button. So um, I guess, Dave, you know, that's, that's been 45 minutes. I could probably go on for another three hours. Uh, right on. But I hey, think Ken, that's good for me. Hey, Ken, real quick, you want to get into, go, go back to the box contest manager and go to yep. the very bottom. Uh, go to the very bottom. You can, you okay. can use AWeber with this. And so instead of collecting just emails or uh, phone numbers, you collect emails and phone numbers using AWeber. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And then obviously uh, we just added the feature today, not even an hour ago, where every single uh, submission of the, of the actual form on the tablet will notify the business as a lead. So it's a perfect yes, example. And, and With the way Ken is running that website, it's a perfect example right here. Yeah, exactly. Let's go back and take a look at this. Uh, if I'm doing lead generation in this building here, and, and if these are hot leads, and, and, and you know this is just an example site, I'm not saying that this is a good niche to be in, or bad credit loans are uh, pretty tough, but um, the, the fact is here is when a lead comes in here, literally when somebody enters their name and cell number to try and win that prize, it is literally seconds until the notification is hitting the sales uh, uh, manager's uh, phone or email with and he can have a notification on his phone and literally he can be calling this person back within uh, 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 a few minutes. So we're talking about the lead is hot, that person's still at the phone whether he's at home or on his cell phone. If he calls back he's got a hot lead. The person's going to say, oh yeah I was just on the site. So yeah Ed, that, I'm glad you brought that up. That That is is crucial when you're doing lead generation with the software, crucial. Yeah, and it notifies once someone submits, it can it, it can send an email to the business, an SMS, and a robo voice. 
Yeah, I love that. I love how Twilio works with the robo voice. Um, fantastic. I'm using that in, you know, this is the season right now to have uh, all the lineups. And, of course, we've got the, the, the seating uh, notifier there in, in the restaurants, you know, seating people. And I just find it awesome that instead of sending somebody a text message back, it's actually sent, ringing their phone and that, that same robo voice is saying, hey, your table's ready. I love the robo voice. It's it's actually quite natural compared to a lot of the robo voices I've heard. Yeah, yeah. This is this is so cool, all the way around. Um, I saw it pop in the one of the things that we've been wanting to get to with it that I've seen in the question box here a couple of times now is, could you iframe it into a Facebook app? And yeah, absolutely, you could. Um, it's it's something that uh, we've been wanting to play with a little bit more and and just haven't gotten to it. It's 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 well, a Dave. It's it, it's an iframe code. You can put right. it in anywhere you want. If you want, if, if Facebook is your focus, it doesn't matter. Is if you can put the iframe code in there, it's going to fit properly and it's going to look a hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, you know. <laughs> It's the perfect time of year to visualize how powerful this tool is, right? Because when you think of this time of year, what do you think of? You think of people lined up around the block to go shopping. It's the perfect time of year for this type of loyalty program because really that's what we're talking about is loyalty, right? It's it's the perfect solution. Yeah, Dave, I've got to interrupt you there for a second when you're talking about the perfect season. I, I went into a shoe store, and as I was talking to the manager, of course, it's busy. If you go down on a busy, busy time, the, the people are walking by. I said, look at all the people walking by. And he said, yeah, but they're just not interested in buying shoes. I said, how do you know that? Well, they're just walking by. I said, you know what? I said, I bet you that I can get these people in your store. And all we did was took the... the um, the the box and set it to the the malls allow you to be within I think it's three feet three of the four entrance. feet yeah so we actually set that thing up so that it wasn't outside but it was just inside with an attendant but we made sure that it was visible we put some signage around it and ha actually hanging off of it with the attendant there and they couldn't miss the instant win and from the time we set that sign up I, I bet you we had, and once people came in, and then of course there's a couple other things that we did to actually get them to the back of the store, because that's where they had to go to get their answer, whether they had one or not. It generated a code at the front. They had to go to the back and give that number to the girl at the cash register. They had come in and say, 483. No, sorry, you didn't win. Well, we had them in the store. Literally, we were full to capacity. The store was completely full, and I'm not sure if they set a record for sales but um, my point is that this is a, a, this is the time of the year that you want to do your your major list building because of the huge amounts of traffic right well any place that draws a crowd you know because now now you get to it, it's 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 just a different deal all the way around and it's something that people are used to as far as the business model goes because it does go back to the fishbowl you know? Absolutely. It's just a digital fishbowl. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I don't know, Dave. I don't know if you watched the, the video, but the one thing that we always wanted to check out was when people approach the box, when they were in the lineup, um, or, or when a customer comes into a store, are they apprehensive? Are they actually going to put in their phone number? Or when they say, oh, i got to put in my cell number. No, I'm not doing that. If you watch the video, you will see that out of all the people that approach that box, there is never a second of hesitation with people putting their phone numbers in. Right. Right. Well, and yeah, when you, when you've you've made the prize physical, you've made it real. Well, yeah, and, you know? and it's inside their business, and and you, you know when you take a look at at uh, the things that we're doing here. Uh, uh, let me see where did I have those pictures. Um, when, when it's being shown as a localized uh, business, when, when they see the local business name right in the dead center here, they're not worried about that business spamming them. What they're worried about is internet marketers spamming them. So online, you've got uh, 
less opt-in rate than you're going to have here because there's a trust factor because it's their business. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. No, I agree. I couldn't agree more. So let's take some questions now. We'll okay. take some questions for Ken, and then uh, we'll get into the software a little bit. And I know everybody wants to know, how can I get it already? I'm going to show you exactly how you can get it. So let's take some questions for Ken. Uh, I'll scroll back through here just a little bit. And perfect question. Ken, pricing structure. Pricing structure. I mean, um, I know it's I know it's a little early on to see where this thing ultimately goes, but any thoughts? I'll, I'll tell you what I found to be the the most successful. Some some businesses want to send. I, I don't allow them to send more than once a week. Um, I've got some that only want to send every second week. I got some that want to send once a month. Now, here here's the 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 beauty of the system. Um, I'm charging them a, a deposit, and if they return it in good condition, they can cancel at any time. If they would return that, I'll give them their deposit back. But out of that deposit money, of course, when I demo a unit, when they give me the deposit money, I've got the money to go and buy a unit. Now, they've given me the deposit money. Well, in the deposit, say I'm charging 297 uh, I, I might charge them 197 as a deposit, and and uh, like 197 might be the deposit, the other hundred might be the setup. So 297. Anytime you cancel, you're going to get back 197. Now we've got a little bit of money there to to set up their campaign, which is going to take you a few minutes. Um, how do we make money with this? It's off the SMS. You see, the bigger the list I build, the more money I'm going to make because I'm charging. Five cents a text message, or if they're sending out a, a, enough messages, I'm charging them four cents. My cost is one. If I have a profit margin on on a smaller business of four cents per text message, when they do their blasting once a week, if I can build everyone a list of two thousand people, and I'll tell you, two thousand people in in your average business is going to take you no time to build a list of two thousand. Every time they hit the button. They're getting billed a hundred bucks. I'm going to have twenty dollars in cost, and I'm going to have eighty dollars in profit. If they do that once per week, which is normal, then my profit after on an average business is going to be three hundred and twenty dollars per month. Eighty dollars profit every time they hit the button, four times a month, three hundred and twenty. Those that go every second week doesn't mean that I'm making less. As long as I build them a list of, of 4,000 people, I'm going to make just as much because I got more people on the list. So you'll find that not everyone wants to send a message every week, but that's my pricing model. About uh, three to four cents uh, per text message is profit. I'm charging them as they're doing their blasts. Yeah, and and keep in mind here, guys, too, that uh, there's a lot of different models that could be supported here. You could actually, depending on what you're doing with it, you could charge per lead. You know, and actually sell the leads to the business if you want to offer them a very low risk, high reward situation to get your foot in the door. But the technology yeah. here is going to sell itself. It you know, is. It, 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 the, you're showing them something that they understand because they've been to a trade show, they've dropped a business card in a fishbowl. But it's real technology that makes sense, you know, and and it's just not. It, it, you, I think you're going to be able to charge pretty much anything you want and feel your way into it, is my personal opinion. Um, Daryl says, is it 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi? It's Wi-Fi. Uh, this is Internet-based, so it doesn't matter if it's on an iPad or an Android or a Windows tablet. Um, sh I'm sure you can run it on you know, a Kindle or whatever the hell, because uh, yeah. it is web-based. Um, Let's see. Uh, have you had any? Just, just to, to answer that one a little bit more, I've, most businesses do have Wi-Fi in their business, so just a regular tablet's going to work. But if you get into a place where they don't have Wi-Fi, um, you would pick up a 3G, and I, I, I use a data plan that costs five dollars a month, and it covers the entire month. Uh, but what I found is that I can buy a router if they do have internet, but they don't have wireless. 
uh, for some of them, I've just went and spent ten or fifteen dollars on a router and plugged it in, set it up, and and it was an easy solution for a, a sixty-nine dollar tablet. Yeah, what kind of battery life are you getting out of a tablet, Ken? Uh, the the tablet will go a long time. Um, what I do is is I run an app on my Android that's called Keep Screen, so that it always stays on. And if it's going to be um, at the movie theaters, they're only going to be open for say six hours. It's going to run that no no problem. If they're going to be running ten or twelve hours, like from the time they start, and maybe they're a twenty-four hour store. In the back, um, I actually have it so that you can leave the the power cord attached to it, and it actually goes out the back of the box, and you, you can't pull the cord out because it goes through one way and then it's locked. And so they can actually leave it plugged in if they need to have it that way all the time. But what I found is is you can easily get to eight or nine hours out of it with it just sitting there. I keep yeah. the screen dim. It doesn't have to be super bright. I keep it dim, and I, I keep the keep screen on there. And, of course, the, the way we cut out the top, they can't uh, go into the browser or anything. The, the Plexi, the acrylic, is actually covering everything except the active screen. So right. That, that's what I've done. The, the option of having the cord, but normally they, they don't need it. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Let's see. Uh, Jason says, Cause we, can we integrate with other options, other list services like SunPepper, Office Autopilot? Jason, we'd be open to anything. Um, in the, in the, in the, you know, the grand scheme of the Thursday think tank, which is, uh, you know, really the, the, the drive, the, the development behind the, the, the box software here. Um, what we're going to do with this, we've got it pretty solid right now, which is to Aweber. Uh, there needs to be a special API call that Aweber has. Um, we'd be willing to look at if somebody has a SendPepper account and you want to give us some access so we could find out, we'd be willing to work with you. Um, what we'll do with this thing is we want to get it in everybody's hands. And then we'll have one last round of features that will get put into it. Nothing dramatic, not going to do everything everybody asks for, but there will be a couple of common themes that we will that we will put into the software based on the feedback we get from everybody here inside the Thursday think tank. So it's pretty solid already. Ed's been working on it very diligently, and uh, it has all of the features to do everything that Ken showed you tonight and more, and uh, we expect to be putting that in your hands no later than Friday inside of the members area. So, um, Jason says, can it, will it integrate with Wrecking Ball? Yes, it does. If you have the Wrecking Ball SMS software and you're using the Magic Box system, you can trigger any campaign inside of your Wrecking, Wrecking Ball SMS system. Uh, so it will, in fact, do that. Um, let's see. Looking for some. Let's say you have 20. Hugh says, say you have one in 20 winners. Can you randomize the winners? Let's say number three in the first 20 and number 15 in the second 20. I don't know. Ed, how does that work? Ed, you still here? No, it works. It works a lot like the old stuffed animal gadgets that you see at the restaurants. The claw. Uh, yeah, the, the claw. That's not a that's not a game of chance. It, it's a game of uh, if you're number one hundred <laughs> or you're number two hundred. That's how it works with those systems, and it's set by the owner of the machine. Uh, this works exactly the same way. Uh, the claw gra grapples a little bit harder when you're subscriber number one hundred. Yeah, and. Um, you, you know, um, what was it, uh, um, Hooters in the U.S. ran an SMS contest, and, and a number of companies are doing the, the same thing now, where every tenth text message is the winner, uh, and they're advertising it that way. So it's not designed to be random. If somebody puts an iPad in there, uh, you know, we gave away a very expensive iPad, and they insisted on having a 1,000 people uh, opt in. So there's no way that we wanted to give that, that tablet away after the third person had opted in because the tablet would be gone. What else would you have in there? You couldn't put something in there and say you got a chance of winning because literally they had no chance of winning. If it was number three, the, the other 997 people wouldn't see a tablet in there and in fact would not have a chance of winning. So uh, 
we, we took the randomness out of it because what we're concerned with here is is list building. Right, right. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Lee says, so could you... You want to create that bug too. You want to create that bug too when people are seeing you fill out that uh, the tablet and you get excited, people are going to start lining up to fill it out. If nobody's winning, nobody's going to be wanting to fill that thing out. <laughs> exactly. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, Lee says, so could you approach a business that has a Facebook fan page and put this thing into their fan page? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I don't see why not. That's what it's for. Right. Bob says, uh, who keeps the leads? Uh, Bob, that would be up to you. Um, there would be lots of ways to structure demos in a fashion where you keep the leads unless they sign on as a customer. Uh, it does use Twilio's API. Uh, it does not allow you to create sub-accounts from within the software. However, you can use sub-accounts. Um, so there, and there's, there's, you know, there's other utility programs. We've got some inside the Thursday Think Tank that uh, you can do those types of things with. Um, let's see. Do we need to have a dedicated tablet or iPad to make it work? No, Walt. It's internet-based, so you could use it just by going to the URL. Um, let's see. Can you segment the list as it gets bigger and send blasts more than four times per month as long as no person gets more than four per month? No, it doesn't have advanced functionality in it like that. If you were trying to do something advanced, you know, as far as your list building or something like that, uh, the best method would be to just trigger a wrecking ball SMS campaign. Um, For sure, this is a very dedicated system. And yeah. If you want anything that's that's more advanced, you're going to have to run it through uh, the the superior system through wrecking ball. Yeah. It, well, and and I mean, you know, there's uh, there's lots of great reasons to do this, but I think this is a beautiful, completely standalone business model that needs nothing else as well. You yeah. know. Um, let's see. It is. It's complete. It's it's a um, it, it's a physical product, and it is complete. It stands alone, and it does exactly what it's intended to do. It makes money. And I was going to mention one more thing, Dave, about the the, the business model. You do it. When I take the box off site, if it would go to a, a sporting event, basketball, football, hockey, uh, trade shows, conventions, um, flea markets, wherever it would go, I'm charging the business. 25 cents to 50 cents per opt-in because somebody, they have to put the prize in, but somebody has to look after that. I have to pay somebody to look after that box. So I am, in fact, charging them. So it's making me money on the, the very first day that I put it out there. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, John says one install per customer or multiple installs uh, or multiple customers per install. Yeah, multiple customers per install. Multiple customers per. Nice try, pal, but you're going to have to come harder than that to stump the Thursday Think Tank team, uh, spe especially with our Canadian allies on board on this one. Uh, you know who you are, fella. Uh, let's see. Obviously, the biz is paying for each tablet given away. If your prize is a tablet, Mark, yeah. Um, yeah, but Dave, there's uh, there there's some places like health and beauty places that are giving away like body lotions and stuff, and they're 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 just tiny because and we're using the smaller box, the eight right. inch by eight inch from Staples, and they set the frequency at maybe one out of every fifty wins or every fiftieth our entry wins, and they're only putting in a six dollar item. So yeah, they provide the item, and if it's a cheap item, it's got a, a much greater winning frequency. Yeah, yeah. Put up, can put up the busiest screenshot you have of the software running so like one with a phone number and a name like one of the um, one of the emulator shots oh one of the emulator shots here yeah that works because there's a lot of slackers that got on the call late that are asking some questions that will be addressed this is web based designed yeah. to display on a tablet or on a mobile phone so it's not really a physical device it is a physical device but we're not providing you or selling you or offering you a physical device 
because you can, you know, you can go get cheap Android tablets at the Office Max for like seventy nine dollars, and a basic tablet will do it. Yeah, you know, so and you only have to do that once, right? Because when you use that one as your demo unit, I never put that one in a store. I just show them, hey, look, here's what we've got. Try it for a day, and then if they say, hey, I like it, I'll take their two hundred ninety seven, and out of that, I'm gonna. 100 is going to be the setup fee, and the other 197 is going to cover the cost of the box, and so it's not coming out of my pocket. Every time I sell a customer, I only have one initial investment, and after that, it's always running on, on their money. Right, right. Walt Laurel says, TTT rocks with an exclamation point. No, sir, you rock. Uh, let's see. Brian says, I missed it. Did he say it can be utilized on a mobile-optimized site? That's on really, phone, yeah. yeah, I mean, you could display it on a mobile phone. If you tried to iframe it into a mobile website where it only took up half of a mobile website, I'm not sure how that would work. Well, Dave, might... let me show them here once again. If I'm going to run it on a phone, you're just going to run it right from the URL. You wouldn't, uh, uh, I mean, you could iframe it into your site, but you could also just have a link on your mobile phone that would just link to a, a page where you, you would be uh, uh, hosting this. Uh, and once again, all I'm going to do is get rid of this extra graphic on the side and, because I want more room for the mobile phone. So all I'm going to do is just come in here quickly and just remove the uh, background image. And I'll just get rid of that. And then you can see exactly how it looks now. Yeah, and if you have a, a funky size image like that that was in there, Ken, you yep. can resize the main body, which you're looking at right now, from 50 to 75 percent, so your your image will look more proper as opposed to looking all scrunched in. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Which is which is awesome. Because different applications, you know, you're going to have the stretching or whatever, and with that feature, everything's going to fit and look uh, uh, just right. And Ed, this is an interesting question. Um, like, if you had one install up, you could actually have five hostesses all using that one install at the same time, couldn't you? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. That, that's a whole idea. When, when you go to a sporting event, one of them isn't uh, is <laughs> right. going to cover 10,000 people. You, you might end up having uh, six or seven or eight or nine. Maybe you've got tablets from all over. Well, you just change up the URLs and off they, off they go. Right. And your boxes don't have to be on carts. You can actually use a, a harness attachment so that, you, you know, like in the, what was it, the 30s when they'd walk around and they'd have cigarettes and you know, all the stuff that they were actually physically carrying. You can do the same thing here. It's very uh, portable. But you can have 10 of them going at the same time, and they're all opting in for the same list. What they call those things? Candy stripers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. I like it. Um, J A says he thought he was he thought he was good at the claw machine. Turns out he's just lucky. Now he's disappointed. <laughs> um, Ron says the ninja keeps the leads in pretty much every instance. Yeah, there you go. Right. Uh, let's see. Time, yeah, all of these things, all of these questions. There's a whole bunch of them in here about. So you can you know you can set the prizes to give away so many out of so many yeah that that's all completely you know settable you know that that's we wouldn't build something that's not um, let's see da, 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 da. it's not gonna work yet in Australia folks correct Ed coming soon to a theater near you yeah we're waiting on Twilio they keep teasing us and it's just one of those things that you know to do it all over with another Australian company you guys I'd need the commitment from a lot of Australians to pull it off and Twilio just keeps teasing us and saying that it's coming so we were just assigned a new rep at Twilio incidentally so I might be able to get some clearer information from him. Hey, Dave, I haven't seen a lot of questions of how you can use LBS, LBS with this. Um, LBS is already ready to go for this. All you have to do is take the coupon URL inside LBS and plug it into the SMS box inside the Box Contest Manager. 
perfect fit. Awesome. Awesome. So there's an awful lot of how do I get it, what's the deal, what's going on, all of that stuff. And then we'll we'll probably take some more questions in, in just a little bit. Ken, you can hang out for just a, a touch. So I yeah, can actually, get... I'm going to take a, uh, is it all right if I, I just have to go check on the kids. So yeah. It'll probably be about three minutes. If you want to just mute me, I'll be back uh, quickly. Perfect. Perfect. Mute yourself before you leave. Okay. I'll and that way, when you come back, you can just jump back in. Okay. Um, oh, and, and Dave, yes, uh, sir. before I go, um, you know, at, at some point, we'll probably want to mention uh, uh, um, the training, like a lot of these yeah. questions, you know, they're just too detailed, but inside the training, you know, there's, there's, uh, these things are all addressed. Yeah, well, yeah, go check on your kid, give me a minute, and when you come back on, we'll talk about that too. Yeah, sounds good. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, so we struggled with this one, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. You guys all know about the Thursday Think Tank, or at least most of you do. Okay. Um, and uh, so let me get this out in the – I don't even know. We, we really struggled with this. This started before the Thursday Think Tank, you guys. And – then we started the Thursday Think Tank where we're developing and we're giving you guys just tons and tons of killer software all the time. I think you'll all say that we over-delivered. So then somebody made a post in the Facebook group about how similar stuff was going for $15,000. So giving it away to the Thursday Think Tank is difficult for us to do. Okay. Plus, we have a lot going on. So it's a bad move for us all the way around because we have the coupon builder and all that stuff coming probably next week. So we tried to figure out a price point for Thursday Think Tank members on the Magic Box software that was going to make you all happy. And uh, we think we've done that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to give it to the Thursday Think Tank. I know there's been a lot of questions in the Facebook group about what's, how is this going to play out. Uh, Thursday Think Tank, you get the Magic Box software for free. Now, we've also decided that if that's our play with it, if we're going to build an exclusive community surrounding the Magic Box, that the only way to get the Magic Box is going to be a Thursday Think Tank member. And we'll have a little bit more details about that later. Um, is Ken, are you back? Otherwise, we'll have some more details about that now. Ken's not back, okay? And we knew a ton of you were going to ask, so Ken's decided to put together some training about the Magic Box, a seven-day class, where he'll show you exactly what he's been doing, and he'll answer all of those hard business questions that are too lengthy for a go-to webinar. Now, we can't give that to the Thursday Think Tank. So if you log into your Thursday Think Tank membership right now, there's a new button right here once you're on Thursday Think Tank, Magic Box Masterclass Sign Up. We are going to give the Thursday Think Tank the software. If you want Ken's training, that's where you'll be able to get it and he's going to come back on and talk a little bit more about that. If you are not a member of the Thursday Think Tank, we're going to give you an opportunity to join the Thursday Think Tank tonight. However, we have to keep it fair to the people that have been with the Think Tank from the beginning. So we think we've structured a pretty sweet deal for all of you folks as well. And we're going to talk about that just a little bit later in the call, and I'm going to show you what being a Thursday Think Tank member gets you, which is pretty amazing. Uh, those of you that have been with us over the, how about this? Those of you that have been with us since the start of the Thursday Think Tank that are on this call, what do you think? Have we over-delivered in every respect? Are you getting the opportunity to build software that you want? Yeah. If you guys could see the question box right now, um, You'd, you'd, you'd see what I'm seeing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try something. I've never done this on a webinar before. Yeah, so either something's going to crash. It's going like crazy, man. Yeah. 
So these are Thursday Think Tank members. If you're on the fence about this, um, hang on. And can you see? Can you guys see that, Ed? I lost Ed. It's gone. We've blown it up here. Yeah, I can see it. All right, perfect. All right. So yeah. We're going to give you guys an opportunity to join the Thursday Think Tank and get everything that's going on. I'm going to show you everything that's going on. Um, but first, let's finish up the Magic Box call. Uh, Ken still has some great information to give you here in a minute. Um, but if you're in the Thursday Think Tank, uh, that button is available for you guys to go ahead and sign up for Ken's coaching, which he's going to do over the next week. I think he's planning on like seven calls. And then we're going to add on a call to that about how we can integrate it with the Wrecking Ball SMS system. So that'll be real good. Ken, are you back? I'm back, yeah. Hi. Um, hey. Let me give you this, the, 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 the mic back here in just one second. Some of you guys, if you missed the beginning of the call, the Thursday Think Tank membership area got a rework today. You have a new password in your email, so check your spam folder. And if you can't get in right at the moment, check back in 15, 20 minutes. Okay? Some of you are saying that you still can't get in. Put in a support ticket. We're going to watch for them. We'll get you in as quick as we can. And that's where the button is for Ken's course. Ken, I told him a little bit about the training that you were going to do over the next seven days. Um, but why don't you kind of just talk about what all you're going to cover, and let's see where that goes. Okay, um, the very first step is is uh, is being able to the software how to um, how to install it and how to go through it so that you're able to actually set up a campaign. <laughs> uh, that sounds simple, but uh, we want to go through uh, step by step and and show everything about the software, what it does, how to set it up. There, that's a, a call. Um, then, then we actually have to go through things like uh, um, our, our simple uh, templates, how to build a template. Um, the, the the graphics that we're using were designed by our uh, Disney graphic artist, a senior designer with Disney, and he has built the templates. So we need to have a professional appearance. You cannot go in with homemade graphics. So you might want to do this on your own. If you've got somebody who's good at graphics, fine. If not, you, you really need to have a professional presentation. Um, Ken, do you have a screen up? Incidentally, I switched screens. I didn't know if you needed it. Uh, no, okay. I, I don't need it up for this. OK, cool. Um, I, I actually had all the, the points written down. I've actually got them out in my vehicle in my notepad. But um, we're going to talk about uh, traffic generation. Um, about real sources so that if we're dealing with online and and even if it's an offline client we're, we're doing a lot of our traffic generation uh, online um, it's it's something that we don't want to miss um, we want to talk about uh, the, the business models we're going to talk about how to construct this uh, how to order where to order them from uh, who our contact person is um, there's you know, I would really like to think that we can have it done in six calls, but ultimately the the thing has a tendency to to grow because it, you know we're we're always expanding. Um, it might end up taking us seven or eight calls. We'll make sure that they're all recorded. But it's it's you know the techniques that I've been using, and and some of them are, are you know definitely outside of the box. But um, it, it's going to take a number of calls to, to cover everything. Traffic generation is, is, uh, is extremely important with this. If you can't get opt-ins, if you can't put it in the right places, um, you know, hey, you're Ken? just going to have limited success. Yeah. For, real quick, I apologize for interrupting you. you. Guys that are punched in the question box, apparently so many, so many people went screaming over to the Thursday think tank here after we told them where they could uh, sign up for your training that we've apparently crashed the Thursday think tank website. Ed's, oh, no. Yeah, Ed's looking at it right now, you guys. But I promise you, just stop running over there for a minute because the button will be there in the morning too, okay? Um, 
because I think I think we 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 might be up against like some type of Ed. Take a look. See did, see did we just tap the bandwidth bandwidth limit or something on on that account? Um, I'm able but, to get to the front end website, but people are saying they're having a, a problem in the back end. I think. Yeah, well, and the login could be related to the changeover still today, too, guys. So just, you know, give it an hour and check back. You know what I'm saying? I promise you, you're not going to miss out. Um, we we tried to get this changeover done today, and it just, it's still kind of in progress. I know Eric's working on it now, so just give it a little bit of time. Anyway, so your traffic generation, Ken, because that's the key. You're going to cover that. Yeah, you know how how we're making our presentations, how we're making our our uh, um, our pitches, who we need to talk to, how we actually get to, uh, um, how how we get to yes quickly. Uh, it's not just me. We we've actually had a group of people doing this exact same thing that have had this out, um, you know, on site in in different applications. Uh, we need to be effective. You know, it's, it all comes back to you can buy any tool that you want. Uh, it, just because you buy a, 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 a pipe wrench doesn't make you a plumber. Um, what we found is, is um, we, we found things that work and things that don't work. And you can waste a lot of time and, and you know, it can be a, 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 another thing that you try and, and fail at. And what we've done is we've been able to put all of the, 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 the the items together to come up with something that actually makes sense. It's not theory, it's reality, it's practical application of, of the technology. Right, right, exactly, exactly. And that's going to take some time to explain, right? Unfortunately, you know, it would be nice to say, you know, we can wrap this up in two calls, but realistically it's going to take six or seven or eight calls and you know, I, I could say we'll have it done in six, but it might end up being nine. Right, right. And we want to make sure that everybody has the goods to be able to use this. Um, can you actually, let's talk just for a second about the boxes, just for a quick second. You know, um, on top of there being lots of models that, that don't need, don't require the box, you have a supplier that will ship them anywhere for like 45 bucks or something like that, right? Uh, 42. 42. And, and they're not the, the, if you go to Staples and you buy a ballot box, you can go online and do a search for a ballot box, and you're going to find that most of them are, are square, and they've got a flat top. But as you can see with mine, it has a slanted top. It's, it's uh, sloped, so as people are walking towards it, they can actually see the tablet. And, and that is, in fact, the the box that we're dealing with. I believe that $42 model um, is has the, the, the sloped uh, screen. Okay. And they are coming out of Eastern Canada and he's actually shipping right now into the US. Perfect. Perfect. Um, you have the screen back, you know that? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. This one here is, that is one. just the, the plain box, but you can see how it is uh, slanted. Uh, tapered on the, the top. Yep, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, they're available, and Ken actually has videos that I've seen um, that, uh, <laughs> funny, um, feedback from the webinar already. Um, Ken has videos where he shows you how to take the $20 box that you can get from Staples that just has a business card slot in it and modify it. To, to be a pretty nice little piece. So if you, if, you know, if you don't mind spending just a little bit of time, you can do that as well. Well, that, that, uh, the, the kid that actually, uh, I shoot the video and I have a kid there that's, uh, I think he's about 20 years old, and he was, uh, um, I just invited him over and said, hey, bring your, your Dremel and come over and we're going to do something. And it was really spur of the moment for him. He, had, he was not prepared, didn't have a clue. And it took him 32 minutes to build the box, and he figures he could build them now in 20 minutes. And uh, it was all items that I picked up, uh, $15 worth of hardware from uh, Home Depot and a $20 box from Staples. And then it was ready. We even showed that the tablet like it's complete. 
the video shows from start to finish the material list, everything that we're doing, and how easy it is to put together a box. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, there's a couple of questions. Could you ship the boxes to the UK if they if the guy won't? He can ship them to me, and I'll ship them to you. That's not a problem if you need to do that. Um, I, I'm no, sure no, you can. actually. Dave, the, 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 the supplier, we actually have one of our members is actually living in the city. It's, it's actually in uh, Ottawa. Okay. And so if, if that guy wouldn't do international shipping, our guy can pick them up and ship them uh, on his own. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Just to take it off the table, Ken, you can hang out for a little bit, and then we'll cover a handful of questions more if that's cool. Yeah, no problem. Excellent. All right. I'm going to pull the screen back here so we can get this out of the way because everybody wants to know if I'm not a think tank member, how do I get this? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what the Thursday think tank is. For those of you that are new or haven't seen it yet, what the Thursday think tank is is something we started two months ago. And we're meeting every Thursday, except for this week. We're meeting Wednesday, uh, today. And we try and do like three calls that are kind of open brainstorm and just really good training. I've had a bunch of really killer guest speakers on. I don't know why I can't scroll on the screen right now. But we've had uh, Steve Rosenbaum on. We had the Thursday Thinkathon. Think -thon. We went four hours, had a bunch of great guest speakers on, Jason Bell and Des Futak, uh, Brian Gesser and Johnny Schrunk. Uh, so I get really good people on. And we don't pitch anything. These are non-pitch content-only webinars. That's the rules. One webinar per month minimum, we've been brainstorming a new piece of software. And what we do is we build that software, and then the think tank gets it for free. Kenny says, best investment he ever made. Thank you very much. Now, we've, we've got a couple of them scheduled to come out very soon. One of them I don't have up on the screen, but it's a WordPress project management and billing and invoicing plugin that will allow you to control all of your projects and your invoicing. This is maybe one of the most badass pieces of software I've ever been involved in. This is our ultimate mobile coupon squeeze page and landing page builder that allows you to set campaigns and build pages. That's probably going to be wrong. Let me try it. I think it is. Yeah, I know what it is. Let me pause the screen here for a second, guys. This is so cool. Wait till you guys see this. Um, and I have to show it to you here real quick. Let me log back in. Come on. Waiting on the computer. I think our server is running slow in general, Ed. Either that or it's just a go-to webinar. Um, there we go. There we go. So what you can do here, guys, is you can build out landing pages. You can add them to a campaign. You can schedule the campaign so you can show a different coupon or a different landing page for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can split test landing pages. It has viral sharing. It has, look at this. Look at this. This is how you build these pages out. If I just uh, add a new one here and scroll down a little bit, this is all drag and drop. And it's got maps. We have incentivized viral sharing. So you can say get 10% off or share it with somebody, get 20% off. Click to call buttons. Um, map widgets. This is one of the coolest things for your business location, right? You can come in here. And if you just click, it brings up the pin, and it knows where I am, OK? This does geo-targeting, which means if you have one link shared all over town, you can control which coupon they see by what they're closest to. And then you can change that out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have an appointment reminder system in here. That's a standalone system that we gave to the think tank out of the blue as a gift. The box contest is going to be in here. Okay, We have all of the recorded calls. We have over 20 WordPress plugins inside of the members area that are all yours for being part of the Thursday think tank.
Now, because we have had people with us for a long, long time, but we still wanted to make this available at a low price point, here's what we've done. For those of you that have been with the Thursday Think Tank from the start, all of, all of the software that I just showed you, plus all the stuff that you've already got, the SMS schema product, which I forgot about, going to WSO next week. You guys own that software. All right, it's yours. You've been with us since the start, and you've paid for it. Going forward, we debated on doing $180 and then $27 a month, because the Thursday Think Tank costs $27 a month, or just a straight $27 a month. So that's what we're doing. All of this software can be had, plus all of the new stuff that we develop, which is a minimum of one piece of software a month, is $27 per month. Plus you get all the killer brainstorming. We have an extremely active Facebook group where everybody brainstorms and masterminds with each other. Anybody on the call will tell you that the Thursday Think Tank is without a doubt the best investment they've ever made. Okay. I just checked it. The website appears to be up. And if you go to thursdaythinktank.com forward slash join, that's where you can go to get into the Thursday Think Tank. Once you're in the Thursday Think Tank, you can get at Ken's training, which is also going for about $280 less than it should. Um, we did some advanced training with Ken. A few months back, some of you were probably on it, and uh, we sold that for $400, and people that took it said it was worth every penny. This is a completely new business model, and we're giving you the software, so we feel pretty happy with that deal. What do you think, Thursday Think Tank members? I, uh, I see a bunch of people are still getting error establishing a database connection. Write this link down, thursdaythinktank.com forward slash join. If you're already in the Thursday Think Tank, check back in an hour, check back in a half hour. Ken, Jay wants to know how much is your training? I don't even know if we've told them yet. We wanted to oh. keep this real reasonable just because you guys are part of my group and Ken and I are friends. So, Well, it's just, uh, I think we had decided we would be just under the $400 mark. Exactly. So three ninety nine, ninety five, ninety nine. <laughs> no, actually, it's uh, uh, twenty seven dollars. Twenty seven dollars, Jay. Yes, all those calls are going to be recorded. Um, there, there's a place inside the Thursday Think Tank when you get in to buy them, or to to buy into that. There's a webinar schedule already set up in there. A lot of people are saying, we, we're getting in, we just joined. So if you're getting that database error, guys, just keep checking back at thursdaythinktank.com to log in and uh, thursdaythinktank.com forward slash join to get signed up. So the Thursday Think Tank is something I'm extremely proud of, you guys. We have over-delivered. We are developing the most innovative software on the planet for marketers. And we're giving, that's all because everybody in the tank has input. When we brainstorm a new piece of software, every possible problem comes up and we come up with a solution. Couple of questions, what is appointment reminder? We have a standalone text message appointment reminder system that's designed to be integrated with um, other systems, other appointment keeping softwares, as well as the Wrecking Ball SMS software. Uh, Steve, yes, you should have gotten a new password. We've also got in there uh, our SM schema plugin, which is going to go to WSO next week for a lot more than 27 bucks. And that allows you to take customer reviews via text message and post them with star ratings on your WordPress site. So there's a lot going on over there, you guys, on so just software related. 
So, uh, no, Wrecking Ball is not included in the Thursday Think Tank. Um, but I can, you know, it, it that hasn't been asked yet. Most Thursday Think Tank members are uh, Wrecking Ball customers already. Uh, we can certainly put up a Thursday Think Tank smoking deal. But it is not included in the Thursday Think Tank. Uh, so far, every other piece of software that we own is. So, let's see. Uh, best things to slice bread. I love the Thursday Think Tank. Best thing I've ever done. Uh, white label question. Justin, what is it? Um, smoke and deal, smoke and deal. Freaking stupid, says Walt. I, I'm going to assume in a good way. I'm going to assume in a good way. Um, Rex says, I'm confused. Do we need to rejoin? No, Rex. The software is yours for free for being part of the Thursday Think Tank. That's what we decided to do. If you want Ken's training, which is going to be seven or eight calls over the course of the next week with exactly what he's done and exactly what he's doing, you guys know Ken delivers the best training and the best coaching on the planet, bar none. I would be nowhere if it wasn't for Ken Anderson, and that's the God's honest truth. That is available inside the Thursday Think Tank for $27, which we feel is awfully reasonable. Um, let's see. You bet, Rex. Uh, yes, I've seen this question a lot. A lot of people asking about the SMS patent. A lot of people, here's uh, consult an attorney if you're concerned about it. Here's my take on the SMS patent. I don't think it's going to be around long. And I think it's a bunch of crap. I am pressing forward. Okay? That's my deal on it. But consult an attorney if you're concerned about it. I'm not giving legal advice. Um, yeah, still lots of stuff about the Thursday think tank being broken. Just uh, give it a few, guys. Give it a few. If you're, if you're new to the Thursday Think Tank, you can go to thursdaythinktank.com forward slash join. If you're already a member of the Think Tank, you will be able to um, log in and get at Ken's amazingly priced training for $27. Yeah, Scott says it's only a three-quarter million dollar patent license. Right on, brother. Um, <laughs> just ship it my way then. I'll get it taken care of for you. Uh, <laughs> Dave, all the major SMS platforms paying the seven. Yeah, I, I I hear you. It's serious. I I don't think I don't think it's enforceable. I I I, I, I consult an attorney. My opinion is it's it's nothing that I'm worried about. That's my opinion. You know, um, I understand there's a, a bunch of them that paid the fee, but there's also big big money support defending it. Did you want to say something, Ed? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say that that was more related to actually sending links through SMS, not SMS itself. Uh, is that not right? That's correct. It, yeah, first of all, you could still operate this business model with no violation of it if you're worried. So maybe that's another perfect reason you need to do this right now. Um, but in my opinion... It, it, it's just I don't think it's going to amount to a whole lot. I think the people that paid the three quarters of a million dollars are either going to get it back or or the ambulance chasing law firm that's pursuing it is going to go broke trying to pay them back. So that's my guess. Again, that's not a legal opinion. Yeah, just wait till MIT hears about just wait till MIT hears about uh, these guys using HTTP as part of their patent when they're the ones that developed it. Yeah, I mean it's it's it's. I I don't I don't believe it'll ultimately be enforceable in the Supreme Court, and yeah, I think New New York Newsday, who is it, Ed? Is it Newsweek? That's funding the Carol, the defense. There's a judge. And, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of big box stores, and then you got obviously uh, so a couple of SMS companies. Yeah. Exactly. 
let's see. Um, uh, yeah, Brian. Brian says, should I request a new password if the one guy I got sent today isn't working? You could do the forgot my password, Brian. But it might be in your. It might be worthwhile to just hang out an hour and try it again. Um, Justin says, wanting to sign up to the think tank just to get the magic box. However, I can't because my question hasn't been answered, and it's crucial. Let's see. Uh, God, it's a book long too, dude. Um, I do marketing that I have everything on my server and white label, so no one knows who my sources are in case it got missed again. Here's the question. Here's the white label question. Can Magic Box be used on my own server and white label like I can do with Wrecking Ball SMS? Yes. Calm down, dude. Yeah. There's a book in here. I'm, so, I, I'm sorry I missed your question, Richard. But, yes, it's white label. That's not a problem. Yeah, um, keep in mind, guys, the full version is not going to be available in back office until Friday. Correct. We're, at, we're adding more features, and uh, we'll let everybody know we're doing some training bids and all that good stuff. Yeah, and, and, and we'll probably give you a crack at some minor feature additions, too, in a week. So um, word from the streets uh, with a Z here in the question box, the support desk is now completely overwhelmed by people sending in support tickets saying they can't get into the website. Eric says, if it isn't working when you wake up, put in a support ticket. But he's on it. He's all about it. Give it some time, folks. I'm sorry. I guess we picked this was bad timing on this. We we thought we were going to be done with this a couple of days ago, this changeover, and uh, it just kind of went bad. But uh, Dave, I just logged into the support system and uh, OMG. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. So, yeah, right. I know Eric, and Eric's been awake for like six and a half days. He's... I think he's getting a tattoo, the monster energy drink tattoo on his upper bicep. Um, let's see. Uh, Jason says he's tried to pay, but can't. But you're getting to PayPal, Jason? <coughs> let's see. Could we contact Ken on Skype for some specific questions? I think Ken's usually open to that if he's around. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, that's that's fine. Let's see. Rick Hall's. Hey, Dave, can I ask a box question? Well, you could have. You just wasted it. Sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, of course you can, Rick. Um, let's see. Yeah, don't worry, guys. If 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 you can't, if you got to run with your kids and the website's broken, we'll give you a chance to get in. We are calling this the Thursday Think Tank Last Chance Special um, because after we go to WSO early next week with Schema, then the price goes up dramatically. Um, let's see. Are we leasing the box to the businesses, or are they buying the box and we charging for the service, or is it up to the business? Um, Ken's findings is he's leasing the box or selling the box system. And which way do you think is better to go, Ken? I like to charge a, a deposit, and and I've never been one who you know who's much for contracts. I I like to um, give the the business owner the opportunity to cancel at any time, and if he returns the box in good shape, I've always got a place where I can I can move the box over. So. Um, that's what I do. I, I want to keep ownership of the box. I don't want to, I, I don't want anybody buying the boxes. Perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, Wes. I don't know where that Twitter feed came from. I don't know how that got there. I'm not a Twitter guy. Uh, but yeah, I should. We should do something about that probably. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, John, if you contact support, probably wait till the end of the day tomorrow to contact support, John. Um, but, yeah, we'll work that out. Um, Ron says, is there a replay? I have the record button pressed, Ron. That's the one thing I can promise you for sure. 
uh, let's see. Uh, what will I? I don't know what that wrecking ball SMS special will be for the think tank. We'll have to think about what's fair. Um, let's see. Oh, you should when give them my Skype uh, contact as well. There, I've Dave, got it. Speedy, Speedy Ken one. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, and I've got it in the members area there too, Ken. Uh, okay. when, Ken is Ken training starting tomorrow night, I think. Correct, Ken? It is. Yeah. Well, yep. we, uh, Christmas is coming, and and this is a time for us to get ahead of the game. So um, we're going to start right away. Even if the software isn't ready, we're going to get started because we don't have a second to lose. And and if the website's still jacked, we'll we'll figure it out, you guys. Don't worry about it. We'll give you. I, I promise you. If 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 the website's still jacked when you wake up in the morning, we'll have an alternative solution to make sure you're not missing anything. Um, uh, wow, they're coming in so fast, I can't even read them. Um, let's see. Interesting link about the mobile marketing patent disputes on the Warrior Forum. Yes, all of the training will be recorded and inside of the Thursday Think Tank members area, Dave. That's a great question. Um, Ken, how fast can the guy get the plastic boxes out, do you think? Um, as far as I know, it's... it's uh, um Basically, if you ordered one day, I, I would... Within a week or so, right? Oh, no, no, no. He's, he's, he's very fast. The, the boxes are made. All, yeah. Like, he's got an inventory of boxes. All he's looking to do right now is, is just cut the hole on the top, and then there's some modifications underneath because these are sliding. Uh, they're, they're meant to slide the tablet in. So as far as I know, it's not the same day that you would place the order, but they would go out the next day. Absolutely. Okay. Anthony says, so I just got into the Thursday Think Tank rate. So now I, I to get Ken's training, I, I need to buy it for $27, right? Yes, that's correct, Anthony. Um, we are supplying you with software as part of the Thursday Think Tank, along with all of our other great software and other great resources. But it's Ken's training, and that money goes directly to Ken uh, because he's agreed to do this for us. So um, we'll have links in the members area of who to call to get boxes. Uh, we'll have that in there as the software is released on like Friday at the latest, I think. Um, is the think tank geared only towards offliners? I hate to say no because we, we have a lot of very creative members, Judy, but, but yes, it's, it's predominantly offline based for sure. Um, Let's see. Looking forward to having you, Jason. Yeah, I'll tell you what I will do, you guys, because you guys know I'm engineerish, right? I'll draw up a set of plans if somebody wants to try and build one themselves. You know, maybe even do it with like some plexi, flat plexi top and some wood sides, because that'll be easier for you woodworking types with routers and stuff to build. I got no problem drawing up some plans and putting them in the members area, some PDFs for you. I'll, I will do that. Um, yeah, and, and you do have the, the video there showing you how to convert to any box uh, yeah. quickly into in like, you know, $35 investment and you've got your box built. Yeah, I we, we talked about, you guys, we talked about doing a bulk buy on tablets and a bulk buy on boxes for you guys, but we don't... We just don't want to get involved in that. That's you know, I mean, we'd have to charge a markup just for the time, and it just it would just be such a pain in the ass for us. So we're just going to hook you up with the suppliers and show you how you can do it yourself instead. Um, let's see, Dave, can can we use seven or eight inch tablet, and can the box be made? Can the box be made to fit multiple tablet sizes? Can have you done any for ten inches and? Yeah, actually, all the the ones that I've been showing are, uh, and the the one that I was showing is actually a larger box. It's it's twelve by twelve by twelve, 
And the small ones that you get the ballot box from Staples is your, your standard 8x8x8. Eight by eight by eight. It, it's a much tinier box. In the small Staples box, you have to run a 7-inch tablet. Uh, I'm running a 10-inch tablet in, in the larger box, and it'll easily hold the 8-inch. The so um, a lot of people don't have, uh, in specialty stores where they're trying to build a list, uh, they sell specialty uh, jackets. Well, they don't want to put one of those huge boxes on a stand, and they don't have room on their counters. So uh, there's a lot of demand for the small boxes, and they will not fit. The 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight is not going to fit an 8-inch tablet. It's only going to fit a 7-inch tablet. You have to go to the, the bigger size, like a 9- or a 10-inch box, to make the 8-inch fit. There it is, like butter. Yeah. Uh, Barry's got a good point, a basic low-dollar tablet. Yeah, you don't need anything for a tablet, anything with Wi-Fi. That's it. Yeah, go to Walmart. Yeah, I think in the U.S., I think they were on for 49 bucks there for a while at uh, Walmart. Yeah, they're dirt they're, they're cheap. Um, let's see. Uh Tablets are all over. I mean, there's lots of local deals on tablets, Scott, and Amazon, man. I mean, if you're looking for cheap tablets on Android tablets, there's 300 to choose from on Amazon. Um, if you're willing to bring in, you know, a carton of 100, you get them for 50 bucks overseas, but I don't want to deal with that stuff. You know, I actually, Dave, I actually bought brand new, still in the box, uh, seven-inch tablets off of eBay, uh, delivered for uh, fifty-four dollars. Um, so e eBay is definitely another source. Perfect. Um, let's see. We can use any gift to display in the box in place of an item that they would get. Yes. Um, this way no item would be needed but a good photo display of the item yeah if you wanted to give away like jungle gyms rick <laughs> you, <laughs> you, right well you'd either have to build you know the new the newest biosphere um or or do something like that i think that would be fine can have you tried anything like that you've had some virtual prizes that you've had hanging up right yeah, virtual prizes. Um, well, first of all, the the Black Ops Two that we were giving away wasn't actually in the case because technically they weren't allowed to sell it or release it until midnight. So it was an empty case. And if you've got a a, a spin lock, if somebody tampers or breaks your uh, into the box, they're going to get something that's empty. So there's no no problem having an empty box or a picture of the item. Um, we did have a customer that had requested. Uh, uh, an appliance store, and they actually wanted to put a plexiglass box over top of a uh, uh, dryer, and they wanted to have the tablet in there and have it right at the, the the entrance to the appliance section where they get a lot of traffic. And actually, if somebody would hit it and win, then the four guys would lift the plexiglass uh, box off of the dryer. And and the quote on that plexiglass was. Uh, that box was, I believe that it was somewhere around 1200 bucks. <laughs> More than so the dryer. You could, you, could, you could actually put a, a, a jungle gym or a swing set inside a box if you've got the room. And send us a picture. We'll give you a free Thursday Think Tank membership for life. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, this just in from uh, the Ninja over at Ninja PR. 7-inch Android tablets on Walmart.com, $54. Yeah, there you go. They, they did have them on for $49 bucks, uh, a while ago. If you want to wait for a deal, you can, but I would grab what's available because time is what matters here. Exactly. Um, let's see. If you go to – still more website problems, man. Damn it, Ed, we got to get better at this. How did this happen? Um, <laughs> listen, guys, uh, you can go to support at wreckingballmarketing.com. If you go to the main Thursday Think Tank page down at the very bottom, there's a support link. Um, and it will be up in the A of M, I promise you. So don't worry. 
You're not missing well, out. Dave, maybe you should just tell them to submit multiple support tickets just, you know, <laughs> just to be safe. Thanks. Thanks, <laughs> Ken. You're going to want what you're going to want to do is compose a lengthy letter about your problem <laughs> and Skype it to Speedy Ken 1. <laughs> No, multiple support tickets always work with uh, Dave and Ed. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I'm sorry, you guys. We, uh, I'm not sure if we hit a bandwidth limit or what's going on, but big problems with the site. But try the link. You know, wait till midnight. Wait till morning. It'll be good. Yeah, it's all correct. If uh, a lot of people are saying they got in, they're in now. They got, you know, they got through. A lot of people are saying they can't. I don't know. Scott says, can you use a 7-inch tablet with the box shipped from Ken's guy? Uh, hang on. Just let me check and see. The, um, okay, I'll just ask my guy here. What is the answer? Let's see. How about this? Below in the case is the tab is the empty box of the tablet that's being displayed. Oh, that's a pretty good one, Anthony. Get a lot of bang for your buck out of that one, you know. So you order your tablet on Walmart.com and then you install the tablet and then you use the empty tablet box as your prize. I like it. Um, <laughs> that's a good idea. That yeah, is, it does. Uh, that box does hold the seven-inch tablets. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, let's see. Once they've entered their number, can we then run any wrecking ball campaign? Yes, you can, Paul. You can trigger uh, any wrecking ball campaign and use the wrecking ball list building features along with it. Um, <coughs> Scott says, I've been a member since the beginning. Definitely. At the top of the deals I've ever gotten, you've over-delivered at each and every point. Thank you, sir. Um, if access is not up, Dave, can you send us a link to the website? Yes, Rick, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. I will put the links in your hands uh, if the website's not up when you wake up. We will have a solution in place for you. I promise. Yeah, Rick says, I'll call you, and I'll put in a support at DaveIgo.com and a support at AppPowder.com and a support at WreckingBallMarketing.com. And multiple times. Yeah, at least twice per instance. And don't forget my text wall. <laughs> don't forget, yeah, go over to the Facebook page. <laughs> stomp around a little bit over there, if you would, please. Oh, my goodness. Technology. Technology. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. Um... The, uh, yeah, Anthony, the, the login URL for Thursday Think Tank should be ThursdayThinkTank.com forward slash membership dash home. Um, yeah, stop talking. Somebody could take you seriously. Yeah, Ron's got the right idea. Charge $5 per support ticket. Good till hey, camps. There you go. That's really not a bad idea. Some of the support tickets we get, we do our best. Some of them are just books and books and books, and then you can't find the question. Um, let's see. Will the database from the Magic Box have to be exported to a WB campaign? No, Rick. It posts directly into Wrecking Ball if you happen to have the Wrecking Ball SMS system. Just post that sucker right in there. Yeah, Wow well, was right. I know, huh? It's good stuff. Um, anything else for Ken, you guys? While we've got them here, single Twilio number for multiple vendors at a trade show. Uh, yes, yes. It took me a minute to get that question, but yes, Rob. Yes. Um, all right, Lou says, so, say for a big ticket item, we could set this up for a drawing, say a flat screen TV, gather a thousand numbers, emails, and then use WBSMS to do the random drawing. Uh, you could do it that way. You could just program this thing to give it away to, you know, one in a thousand or, or something like that. But, yeah, absolutely, Lou. You can absolutely do that. Um, what size will the supplier have for boxes? Uh, we'll find out and put that in the members area. That really shouldn't be a stumbling block for anybody here. 
Um, let's see. I asked for it. Now they're just coming in. Um, yeah, don't forget the longer you go over two hours, the, the go-to processes will never get the replay. That's a valid point. Um, we don't have a Facebook group for the Wrecking Ball SMS. We do have one for Thursday Think Tank. That's correct. Uh, can a client log in to see his list but not run his campaigns? I don't think we have that in there right now, Paul, uh, but it's a possibility, I suppose. Um, let's see. Joe says, I'm imagining a big screen running this actually at a trade show. Joe, uh, Eric, or Eric, Ed and I talked. My grandfather used to do that all the time, call people the wrong name. That's scary. Uh, Ed and I actually talked about using like 15-inch touch screens for doing things like this and uh, taking it a step further. So we're all about that idea. Um, should the install be on a dedicated domain or could it be used the same domain as WBSMS? No, you can just put it in a folder, Jamie. That's no problem. Um, let's see. Would place cards with QR codes work just as well? I don't think so. Nobody scans QR codes but marketers. No. Opt-in rates are extremely low with uh, QR codes until until the um, the population catches up with the technology. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Can you export the stats? Yes, you can. So the the twelve by twelve by twelve will fit a seven inch tablet. That's correct, Ken. The yeah, the the twelve by twelve or yeah, the twelve by twelve by twelve fits the the. Uh, 10 inch. I'm using the the Samsung Galaxy 10.1, and it fits perfectly. And in fact, that's the the picture I was showing. That that is the the 12 inch. Okay, perfect. Ninja says even at colleges, QR codes blow, and he would know. Um, he just did. You guys just did that big campaign for what? Fit California and what's what was it? Something Topia, Caltopia, or something like that. So he would know. Um, to clarify, when you say 45,000 students, right, how many QR code scans do you get, Ron? 12? Uh, to clarify, when you say box contest manager is standalone, he, Ron says 18, uh, is, is standalone, are you saying once you get opt-ins, you can set them up to blast to those lists? Yes, you can, even in the standalone. We have yeah. basic SMS sending in the standalone. So, and I think actually SMS sending with, with an autoresponder follow-up message, if I'm not mistaken, and, and then lead notification. So, Whew. I'm tired now. How about you? Well, that's that's two hours of fun. That is two hours of fun. Well, let's wrap it up. Um, if you can't get in, write this link down: ThursdayThinkTank.com forward slash join. If you're already a member of the Thursday Think Tank, make sure and pop over there tomorrow morning and sign up for Ken's training. Uh, I can promise you that, well, it's it was just stupid. We should have priced it at 200 is what we should have done, but it is what it is. Um, it'll be some of the best stuff that you ever get. Um, yeah, anything else, Ken, that you need to say? Want to say? Oh, I, I think that's about it. You know, if if you're interested in in a business model that works, we're getting started tomorrow because uh, time is is critical. Awesome, perfect. Well, you guys know what I'm gonna say on behalf of the Wrecking Ball team, which said Hopkins, Eric Street, Sergeant Phil Naus, and of course I'm Dave Igo. On behalf of our very special guest Ken Anderson, I want to thank you all for coming to this Wednesday edition of the Thursday Think Tank. And uh, I'm going to have some updates in the Facebook page about next week because now my health situation is going to play into that. So watch for that. Watch for your emails. If you can't log in in the morning, then let's get a support ticket in. We'll get you fixed up. I promise you that. And I want you to all have a very, very good evening and a super profitable tomorrow. And I'll talk to all of you very, very soon. Bye-bye.